Hey everybody, Sadness here, and today I'm going to be a tutor doing a tutorial on the any percent route for Pumpkin Panic. Using this strat, you should be able to get a sub 15 minute time or even a sub 14 minute time, depending on how much you optimize it. So we start off without sprinting, and then we're going to sprint once we get to here. This has two effects. It one, delays Peter coming in the tutorial by a couple seconds, and two, lets us be sprinting while we plant our seeds, which then makes it so that all subsequent uh, waterings can be sprinted through with any without any risk of like going too fast basically okay so this is probably the highest reset point or the second highest reset point i don't know but you have to get at least seven seeds here to continue the run so we got six so we reset and yeah the reason why you need seven is because of the fact that you need to get a certain amount of cash upgrades after the tutorial's over this whole intro is just optimizing for getting past the tutorial with three cash upgrades and 10 seeds in your inventory. 10 cabbage seeds to be specific. And so you'll notice the pattern here is that I walk this whole time, like I walk until I get here and then I only sprint once it's ready. And I screwed up a little bit there, but it's not gonna matter too much in the long run. Um, because there's an adjustment that I'll make. But either way, yeah, so that time we got our seven seeds so we can continue the run. Now, for an eight seed run, you'll sprint over the moment your watering's done. For a seven seed run, you'll sprint, and then once you see them grown, you'll come over. Because if you just sprint immediately with seven seeds, you'll get there too fast. But with eight seeds, you just sprint over once your watering is full. Okay, so now they're going to be done, and we're going to go get five cabbage seeds and unlock the cabbage gate as soon as possible. So we're running over, and one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that I just did some weird timing stuff there, but uh, anyways, here we do the bottom four, and then the left side here, and then we sprint back. Now we're going to get another five seeds. And we're going to plant the remaining five. I like to go and do the right side here and then swizzle like that. But it doesn't actually matter too much how you plant the top five. The only reason why it matters how much you plant the bottom four is that because those we're going to be harvesting those four early and doing what I call the Peter Strat. If you get an eight seed run, you can also do the Crow Strat. And I'll show the Crow Strat when I do the Peter Strat. But if you get a seven seed run, you have to do the Peter Strat. And it's always like more cash efficient to do the Peter Strat but which means less resets overall because like if you're ever like with the peter strat you get an extra like 12 bucks or something like that i don't know no actually 28 bucks sorry which could could make or break a run okay so so long as you get back to the well before 220 uh you're on pace for the peter strat for this last water for fill so what we're going to do here, we're going to run in, we're going to grab these four plants, and we are going to run over here and get two cash upgrades. And then we're going to run back, and I'm going to flex on y'all <laughs> for no reason. But my flex is that I'm going to go grab this stick. There's no reason to do this. I just do it for, to, to flex. Anyways, then we're going to run back in here, and we're going to get a seed bag, 10 seeds, and one more cash upgrade. And I'm going to put on some fun clothes just because I like to. Anyways, at 301, we're allowed to go outside again. And Peter might run at us, like, through the cabbage field, like he's doing right now. But it's okay, because he's not going to be trying to kill us. He's just running, and if we... As long as we don't, like, run into him, he won't... He doesn't chase us, so it's fine. He also often runs past the well here while you're refilling it. Um, and this is just because of the fact that we leave as soon as possible. If we left, like, after we heard the sound... Uh, which normally signals the end of Peter. Shit, that's okay though. Um, then we will never have to deal with him. But because of the fact that we leave so early, we have to deal with him. But that's that's a speed run, you know? So for this, we just kind of run back and forth doing this loop. There are some better strats than this if you have an 8 seed run. Because with an 8 seed run, you'll actually have $10 here instead of $7, and you can buy the bucket refill upgrade. And what that means is that 
you have enough spare time in between uh, waterings. Here we just buy, we just get four of these, by the way, and then we go and get another 10 seeds and a cash upgrade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we go. And now what we're going to do is we are going to plant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come over here. And then we go back inside. Okay. And then we get one, two, three, one, two, three, and more, ten more seeds. Okay. Then we refill. That's pretty good luck. We love it when things spawn right there. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, if you got the extra 10 bucks, it's no longer viable because you would do the same thing that we just did right here and get three of each of the first two upgrades and then uh, 10 seeds. Okay, so we make sure that we plant before we water here. Um, there's a lot of foraging spawning up there, which is quite good. Although it's the worst place for foraging because it's the most out of the way. That top left corner, we don't want clowns there or foraging. So we water, and this is a nice pattern just because, you know, we run out and then we just run back here. Okay, so that bottom set's going to be fully grown now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to water the top set, and then we're going to go for a round of, like, just walking around everything and collecting all of the forage there is. So here we go. Starting off with these two, of course. Oh, there's another one there, too. That's pretty good luck. So yeah, this is the heaviest reset point, is if you don't get enough uh, forage here, then you just lose the run. And make sure that you get a little bit of water here, um, because half of your tank will be left at this point. And with half your tank left, you can't... Um... Okay, so here we're going to sell everything. And Peter will usually come somewhere along this period of time. And so we just go in. And we get the 60 cash upgrade, and that's it. Okay, so now we'll know when we can go out again, because the clown sign will appear here. There's the clown. Oh, no, that's not the clown sign. Or is it? No, it's not. Now there's the clown sign. And now we'll collect all of this stuff. And we should have around 600 bucks at this point. The more, the better. But, you know, we'll deal with whatever we get. And now we unlock as many seeds as we can for the cucumbers. And we head over here, and we unlock it. And because of the fact that while we were doing our foraging run, we, um, what's it called? Uh, what do we do? We stopped by the well for, like, a few frames. Um, we had enough to just water immediately. Otherwise, you have to run back here, because you can only water nine of them. Okay. So now we just do this loop. Wow, I missed... Oh, wait, no, I only had nine seeds. That's right. <laughs> and in between runs, you'll have plenty of time. So you can actually just continue foraging a little bit. So, like, there's... This bottom right corner is, like, the worst. We don't even need to come here right now. And we won't because you need to water them as soon as they grow up. I guess that we could have watered or waited a little bit, but either way, it's fine because there's plenty of time to let it fully uh, full up now. But yeah, we're basically just watering those as soon as we can and filling up our water. And whenever we think that we have some extra time, we do a little forage run around the right side. Now we really want to get one set of foraging done, or sorry, one set of growing done before... Uh, before two, like, before, like, nine minutes in. Because that's when the clown's gonna come. Around. Okay, so now that we've done our first set, we're gonna run inside. And we're gonna hope that the clown comes while we're doing this, but we're gonna go ahead and buy another cash upgrade. We're gonna get another 20 seeds. We're gonna get this, and now we're gonna run out again. And since the clown did not come, we are going to first off come in here and water everything we can. And now we're going to go and fill up our tank. Oh, I only bought 19 seeds by accident. That's fine. Okay, so now all of these will be done growing. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I only plant on this top section because once the deer comes, it's going to be really annoying to deal with. Okay, so I'm wearing stereo headphones. Samantha's just a jump scare. You don't have to worry about her. And with my stereo headphones, I can tell that the clown's over to the right or to the left here. And so I'm going to go run for him. It seems that he's in an unfortunately far away position. And a lot of the RNG that you'll see in the top runs will be that um, he'll be pretty close by to the well. And it just means that, you know, we don't waste time here because you need to water everything. And yeah, so like we just wasted time because we weren't there in time. Like we didn't run back fast enough. And just make sure while you're doing this that you always have your, uh... Your oil off. Okay, so for this, since Peter's coming, I'm gonna wait for, like, 10 seconds, and then I'm just gonna run. And basically, it's important to, like, kind of optimize time while Peter's out like that, unfortunately. And I'm gonna get one more set of this. And... That should be it for the run. Yeah, because we got 30 total seeds. Actually, we didn't get 30 total seeds. We're going to get two more so that we have 30 total seeds, just in case. Okay, and for this, I waited for the Peter noise. The... And that's important because uh, there's no real indicator. You can just wing it, like run out after 30 seconds and hope for the best. And I will do that sometimes, but not today. For this tutorial, just wait for the timer. It's fine. It's good enough to get a sub-15 minute time and even probably a sub-14. Okay, so we're going to run in here real quick. I do hear the clown on the right, but we want to water and get things done at the same time. Okay, now we go get the clown. So once again, pretty shitty position for the clown, but nothing we can do about that. So by 12 minutes in, you're going to want to have at least two grand. Um, preferably more, but at least two grand is fine. Okay, now we'll water all this. I forgot to plant the two extra seeds that I have, and at this point, they're not going to help very much, but that's okay. Um, actually, we don't need any more water. Yeah, because all of these are going to fully grow up and we're going to be done with farming for the rest. And now this is the rest of the RNG is we have to hope that we can cover the remaining uh, money with porch. And we're going to go ahead and get two seeds here and run out and start putting them into the pot. So there's 30 bucks there on the ground. No dollars here, which is unfortunate, but... Hopefully, we should be able to make it up. I mean, it's only 120 bucks. And this the reason why we're 120 bucks short is because I fucked up and didn't plant those two extra seeds that we planted 30 total. Because you need to plant all 30 of them to have exactly enough money, really. But that's okay, because you can always improvise. And we're definitely going to get a sub 15-minute uh, time. We're going to run this way, even though this is the slower route. But we haven't been here as much. Okay, here's 30, 60, and 90, and 120. Now we're going to go sell. Buy the things. And we're off. So yeah, that's the whole any percent route. Um, I screwed up a little bit at the end, but as you can see, th there's still recovery, and you can still get a really fast time, sub-14, uh, with basically not all that much RNG. Like, I didn't even really get... I don't... I got... I got pretty bad luck, honestly, in that run. Um, and I screwed up. So, you know, as you can see, getting a sub-14 is not actually that big of a deal, and can be done pretty consistently. Uh, I can do it probably every, like, one or two runs. Sorry, like every two or three runs. Um, and the most common reset, except for the most common reset, which is the first 40 seconds of the run. 
And yeah, so that's the whole tutorial. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments and I will answer them. And there's just a 1340, casual 1340. I think, let me look at the leaderboard real quick, but like, I'm pretty sure that's like fourth place right now. That is fourth place. It's almost third place. And yeah, there's only three people currently who have a sub 14 minute time. And so please take this run, take the knowledge and go pump up those, uh, go pump out some sub 14 minute runs so that the leaderboard can be more competitive. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Bye.